I can't see. That's better. Hey guys, it's Sarah, and I'm here to tell you everything that's been happening in the last week. In recent interviews, especially the Jonathan Ross interview, Harry's been really going around the question of like who he's dating, who the songs are about, you know, like just gender neutral stuff. And like Harry's been just saying like, oh, like I'll leave it up to interpretation. He's not giving a lot of information. He's, Harry used to wear his heart on his sleeve. He used to be, he used to give a lot of information, but Harry is really not an open book anymore. He's kind of just letting people think what they want to think. Like, oh, if you think the song's about this, then that's fine. This raises suspicion, question, and curiosity. I was thinking that maybe Harry is wording things differently because he wants to be prepared for when the Larry question comes up. And in that same interview, I mean, Harry did admit that he is media trained. He's like, well, since I'm media trained, I'll tell you. So there you go. It's been rumored that the bullshit tweet got deleted, but then somebody went back on Louis' Twitter, probably scrolled all the way down, which I mean, really, you got time for that? But anyway, they scrolled all the way down and they're like, no, this bullshit tweet is still here. So no, the tweet did not get deleted. I'm like 99% sure about that. But everyone was getting their panties in a twist all about it being deleted and I almost had a heart attack. But it doesn't matter. Larry is still rising. And I'm so happy because Louis is starting to debunk the baby gate rumors slowly. Like he's not coming out and saying no, this is not true. But you can just definitely tell that whenever the question comes up, which is actually rare now, Louis just kind of shrugging it off. It's not like a big deal anymore. Like you don't even hear it in the media anymore. It's kind Kind of dying down, which I think is intentional. I think the whole purpose of Babygate was for it to die down in the end. Now what's been going around Tumblr is that there is this new Expose Larry account, and maybe it's not new, but it's Expose Larry, and basically it's the it's this account. It kind of reminds me of Mr. X from back like in 2013, 2012, or something like that. And it's basically saying, oh, this is gonna happen in the future. They recently put out a tweet saying that Louis is going to be getting the best Christmas present he's ever wanted at Christmas. And like, they like say other stuff. So people have been believing this exposed Larry account. And it's been getting pretty popular. Apparently this like, account got hacked and it was basically saying, oh, I knew you Larry shippers would be like believing all this. Like you knew none of this was true. It basically, like they're basically saying that they believe in Larry, but they don't know the information that they've been typing, which people got pretty pissed off at. But this is why I really, don't believe in update accounts, especially ones that really aren't legit like expose Larry. I was starting to believe it at first, but I mean, it was bound to happen. At the AMAs, Harry was sporting a floral suit while all the other boys were wearing like black and gray suits. You know, the very casual. Louis did not know what he was wearing though. Like Louis was wearing a sparkling suit, like a sparkle suit, but he did not know who he was wearing. Harry was just like, Yep, I'm wearing Gucci. <laughs> but Louis and Harry were actually matching because Louis had his sparkle suit and then Harry had his sparkle shoes. I bet the reason why Louis didn't know what suit he was wearing is because I think Harry picked it out for him. So my new OTP is sparkles and flowers. Louis and Harry were also looking at each other during the AMA interviews and like licking their lips and it reminded me of that 2013 moment or 2014 moment when they were at the AMAs like looking at each other. Like they weren't next to each other but they're just like looking across at each other. Also Harry was looking lost on the red carpet without Louis because obviously the ship needs its compass. Also, can we have a petition for Harry Styles and Louis Tomlinson to kiss after one of their songs? Because at the AMAs, Charlie Puth and Megan Trainer had that big like makeout session after a song. It's like, uh, hello, can we have some Larry going on? I swear, I thought something was gonna happen after a song. Louis and Harry were sitting next to each other during the AMAs. They were eating next to each other and they were performing next to each other. This is totally next to you. November. Also, we got a grainy ass video of Louis and Harry hugging at the AMAs. Like, I think we got other high quality videos after, but there was like one specific angle of them hugging and it was like Wellington freaking 3.0, 4.0. I don't even know where we're at with the Wellington stuff. Like really guys, out of so many people in that audience, not one person has a good quality one. But then I did see other high quality angles of the hug and it was beautiful because Harry was the little spoon in the moment. Like Louis was uh, like hugging his back. So Harry does live up to his name, being the little spoon. Louis was touching Harry's waist. <clears throat> they are literally a ship and a compass. Louis, freaking jump into Harry's arms right before the camera panned the other way. Like, you know, like obviously the cameraman was not a Larry shipper, but like right when like Louis was like jumping into Harry's arms and like resting his head on Harry's shoulder, the camera moves. Like seriously, it's like, this is not a drill. This is a thing. Like Louis did that. There was evidence, people saw it. He jumped, his head was resting. I'm dead. <laughs> like I thought 
Louis was gonna grab Harry's hand after they performed the song Perfect on the AMAs, like the way he was just going towards Harry, like maybe for that group hug or something, I just thought that they were gonna grab hands and be like, yes, we're gay. <laughs> Seriously, at the AMAs, can they please uh, change the award categories? Can we have like couple of the year, best tattoos and shit like that? Because we all know who would win. But aside from Larry, our boys are kings. They pretty much won all the awards and all the categories. I think they won like artist of the year and like best rock pop group or something like that. I I swear they won like six awards, but it sounded like they only won like a couple. I don't know, but obviously every award show One Direction go to, they always win awards. So I'm pretty sure they kind of go on stage and go like, eh, expected. <laughs> and some people were getting mad that like One Direction kept winning and it's like, really, they deserve it. Like it's like the, the competition isn't hacked, I don't think. Just calm down. <laughs> they work so hard. But One Direction were against Taylor, Nikki, and Ariana. So for them to win, against them, that's a big achievement because they're pretty big pop idols. Also, I think JLo said, thanks, Larry. I don't know what Larry she was talking to. Was there another person named Larry at the award ceremonies? Because if there wasn't, she was definitely talking about Larry Styles and she is a dark Larry. Now, Perez Hilton sent out a hateful tweet towards One Direction. I'm not sure if he said at Harry, ha at Louis, like all of them, but he just basically like subtweeted them. Basically, he was saying that like One Direction were like they appeared lazy on stage. They looked like they were bored. And I'm like, who are you to say that? Like, we all know Perez Hilton, like he says rude things about every celebrity and he puts his nose in people's business when it shouldn't even be there. The boys look bored. They've been working so hard and they're going to even be like taking a break. Harry hurt his foot on stage and he even said he puts in 101% on stage. They put more effort into their tour concerts than performing before an interview. See, this is what happens when people who aren't One Direction fans talk about One Direction. They don't know what they're talking about. Some people were, were even hating on the boys stylist team because their outfits clashed during the AMAs. Were you nominated for an award? Were you at that ceremony? No, so just sit down. Like, shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down. Okay, maybe their outfits clashed, but why are we looking at their outfits? It's about the boys' achievements. It's about their vocals. It's about their music. It's about the band, not their outfits. Like, I just don't get why people's looks are always the center of every person's interest. To be honest, I was in love with Harry's Gucci suit. Like maybe they don't wanna all dress the same because they're not that typical boy band. With each of their outfits, you can see that they have unique styles and that's what's so cool about One Direction. Like yeah, they were especially judging Harry's outfit choice, but he doesn't give a fuck, it's Harry's styles. But oh my gosh, there was one photo in particular at the AMAs, it was Fifth Harmony with One Direction and I loved it because people photoshopped Camila and Lauren with Harry and Louis and it was like two of my ships together and it was so beautiful. I want to see Fifth Harmony and One Direction hanging out a lot more. On the Rainbow Bondage Bear Twitter account, the Rainbow Bondage Bear was like holding a pride flag and I don't know about you guys but this account is becoming like more and more gay and it's becoming more and more evident that this account is purely for LGBTQ plus individuals and it's for the support of those individuals because why else would it have a pride flag? I just think that that was a huge step in this account. People are speculating that in the song Olivia at the point of 1 minute and 16 seconds you can hear Harry faintly in the background saying Larry is real. I heard it over and over and over again and to me I didn't hear Larry is real at all. It, Harry was talking in the background, don't get me wrong, but I don't think he said Larry is real. I just think that people like to hear what they want to hear. People are just saying, oh, this person said this, so it manipulates what they hear. So I didn't hear Larry is real. I came in with an unbiased, unshipping ear. I took off my shipping hearing aids and I did not hear anything, I'm sorry. That should be a Bible verse like Olivia 116. <laughs> oh, and good news, the Always In My Heart tweet reached 1.6 million retweets as of a few days ago. And to be honest, I thought this tweet had 2 million. I'm like, I, I swear, I thought this tweet had 2 million the, the last time I saw it, but apparently it only has 1.6. I don't know where these people are coming from. Maybe Larry Shippers are just making multiple accounts and like retweeting this one tweet. I don't know, but I don't care where they're coming from. I don't know who it is, but just the fact that this one topped Obama's re-election tweet. That really says a lot. Sophia and Rosie, you know those two cute little girls who were like 
found on Ellen or something like that. Anyway, but Sophia and Rosie interviewed One Direction briefly at the AMAs. And I remember Rosie asked the question like, oh, do you guys have crushes on girls or whatever? And then Harry's like, no, never again. I mean, obviously all the boys were giving like joking answers. Like Liam was like, oh, girls smell. Niall even said no. And Louis said no. So they're kind of all joking, but everyone's pointing out the fact that, oh, Harry said no, never again. If Harry just said no, I'd be like, okay, maybe he's joking like the rest of the boys. But the fact that he said never again, that was more of a key thing for me because never again means I tried out girls, didn't like them, so I'm never going to be with girls again because I like boys. It, it sounded like something like that, like the typical closeted gay kind of answer or response. But I don't think this is proof of an outing. Like everyone's saying like, oh, like this is, this is the number one proof of Harry outing himself. I don't think it is because guys, one, these interviewers were little, they were little girls and you can say all you want, like, oh, they were taking advantage of them being little because they wouldn't tell anybody. Maybe, but I'm just saying that they were little girls so One Direction are, are obviously going to be joking around with them because think about it These girls are naive and little girls who are naive ask naive questions and their question was pretty innocent and naive Do you guys have crushes on girls? It seems like a pretty stupid question kind of I mean of course most of One Direction are going to have crushes on girls so Harry pretty much gave like a dumb response saying, oh no, never. Like I felt like his response was sarcastic. Like Liam's was like, no girls are smelly, but we all know Liam's had a girlfriend. So I don't know. I think this is all like a leave it up to interpretation thing. We can either say Harry was sarcastic or he wasn't. But just speaking from experience, people in the community do sometimes make a realistic statement, but they turn it into a joke because they wanna test the waters and see how people would react. I've done it before, so maybe that's what Harry was doing. We don't know whether he was sarcastic or if he was not. But you know what, it doesn't matter because we still have the it's not that important thing and don't knock it till you try it. So I don't really care what Harry meant. But going back to this exposed Larry account thing, a lot of people think that Louis' sister Lottie runs the account because the account posted a picture of somebody who looked exactly like Lottie. Like they had the same earrings, same hair color, same skin tone, same jawline. It was basically the picture was like from here and down. It looked exactly like Lottie and then they deleted the picture. Maybe Lottie runs the account? I don't know, or maybe someone who is close to the boys runs the account. But basically my thoughts on it is that if this person already said that what they've been saying is fake, I don't think we should be paying attention to it anymore. I mean, it's like the Mr. X account. There's also been more articles about Larry coming out, which is a big surprise because about a year ago, all the articles about Larry that would be coming out would be like, oh, Larry's not real, the fans are deluded, like really guys, stop shipping them, blah, 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 blah. Just negative things that would try to make us stop shipping Larry. But now all the articles that are coming out about Larry are actually supporting our side. I don't know if they've actually been looking into Larry Stylins in themselves. I have no idea, but I, I know that these articles are actually saying Louis and Harry might be coming out, blah, 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 or was the song Home about Louis and Harry? Like, just like things like that. Basically, they're pro coming out articles for Larry and I'm all for it. It's been said that James Corden released the footage of Louis talking about the toilet story, you know, like how he met Harry, and I haven't seen it. Like, obviously it did happen, like Louis talked about the whole bathroom story, but if James Corden released it, where is it? I want to see it again. My eyes need this. One Direction recently just did a press conference in Mexico. It was funny, because the Rainbow Bondage Bear, if you look at their little location thing on their Twitter, the location changed to Mexico. So is it really a coincidence that Louie and Harry were in Mexico and the Rainbow Bondage Bear account changed his location to Mexico? Obviously, Louie runs the account. Louie and Harry run the account. And even though Louie and Harry weren't next to each other during the actual conference, Louie and Harry were next to each other during the interview on the couch. Like, I think it was right after the conference, but it was, in, it was all in Mexico. They were sitting next to each other. Harry's arm was a wrap, like, behind Louie. So they were still very much next to each other. I think they weren't sitting next to each other during the conferences because, you know, a conference is very professional. It's a very serious thing because you're talking to all these people. I think Louie and Harry know that they tend to goof off a lot and they're silly and they'll always look at each other they know that they're gonna be acting up so they're like you know what? a conference is more of a serious type of thing so let's not sit next to each other because we know we're gonna be giggly and it'll be distracting there's been more RBB pictures that have been uploaded on Twitter and the RBBs are always wearing like sunglasses and the first time Louie took a picture of it 
we saw him in the reflection of the bear's sunglasses. So now Louis has learned his lesson. And now every time that they take pictures of the bears, he fogs the sunglasses so you can't see him. So Louis is smart for doing this. Apparently not smart enough to do it the first time. Someone would only fog the sunglasses if they didn't want the person to know who was taking the picture. So Louis wouldn't want us to know, even though it's pretty obvious already. Now I'm not sure if this is true, but Louis liked a picture on Instagram of him and Harry and it was captioned happy husbands and it was from the account not the boots or something and I'm not sure if this is true because I went to Lou's Instagram account and I don't think I saw it in his favorites or in his likes or whatever but someone screenshotted it it could have been photoshopped but it was going all around tumblr and it kept popping up multiple days after so apparently he liked a photo of him and Harry and it said happy husband so apparently Louie agreed with it but that's only if this is true. And guys, it's been a year since Louis got the dagger. I think on Thursday, people were saying that it was, it's was. it been a year since Louis got the dagger. And that should be another date in our calendar for important days. Because we knew that ever since Louis got the dagger, that Larry went from here to here, zero to 100. So November 26th, important day. A few days ago, Harry and Niall went to the airport. You know, there was pictures and all of that. But in the background, someone saw that Harry and Louie were sitting next to each other on that same plane. Like, I think there was a picture of Niall inside the plane. And then behind him in the distance, it was Harry. And you, like, you can tell it's him. He has, like, that bun. He had it way on top of his head. And he's sitting next to someone. And people were saying it was Louie. Because then there was pictures of Harry getting off the plane and he had that high bun, so it definitely was Harry. So even though the media was telling us that it was just Harry and Niall at the airport, we think Louie was there too. But that's as much as I know about the topic. Harry tweeted a James Taylor lyric and it said, The sun is so hot, I forgot to go home. And I don't know if any of you guys have analyzed it. I really haven't, but I know analysis is have been going around on Tumblr about it, like other lyrics of the song. I don't really know what it means. Maybe Harry just tweeted it because it had to do with Mexico. Maybe the song was called Mexico. I'm not really sure. But Harry, I think, deliberately tweets stuff to make us wonder. He's smart. Okay, so Lil T still has a Snapchat. Everybody knows this. Okay, so Lottie was backstage. She had these big hoop earrings on. And Harry, you know, the good in-law he is, he was like putting, he was trying to put like candy and chips and granola bars through her hoop, like see like what could fit, you know, like, st like stupid shit. And then like Louis comes by and you can like hear him say like snap or something. And then Harry is like, Louis, it's Snapchat. Like, um, like why, like why can't you just give me a moment? He said it very softly, but I can make out all the words. He's talking to Louis. You can hear Louis's voice in the background. They're interacting, and then Lou Teasdale even warned Louis, and she was like, "Louis, it's Snapchat, like, shh, or something like that." Which I don't understand because if it's just Snapchat and if it's just Louis's sister, why would Louis have to be quiet? Like, I don't understand this. Like, why couldn't he be a part? of this family bonding because that's what family is. Like Lottie is their family. Larry is family to Lottie. I mean, I would have loved it if Louie was a part of this, like Louie putting stuff through this hoop, Harry putting stuff through this hoop, and then Lou Teasdale just filming it. Like, yes, I ship it, bitches. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, we got some Larry interaction on Lou Teasdale's Snapchat. This is amazing. Okay, this was interesting. A Christmas tree exposed Larry. Louie doesn't own a house in Hampstead but Harry does. It said he was furnishing his house with a Pines and Needles Christmas tree. One customer who spotted the cheery sheds a few years back was One Direction's Louis Tomlinson, who has become a regular. The girls go crazy. They fight over who is going to go with the delivery driver to his house in Hampstead, says Lyle. Harry said in an interview that he just finished painting his kitchen red, and that's why his nails had red chipped paint on them. And then up popped pictures of Louis and only Louis's house during that New Year's Eve party. And his kitchen wall was red. Like, wow, people still doubt Larry. So yeah, basically people are saying that like, Louie lives in Hampstead. So basically a Christmas tree article confirmed that Louie and Harry live together. This is amazing, I love it. And it was unbiased too. So if I missed anything, leave it down below. And like always like and subscribe because I make a video once a week. Bye guys.